Hello! I know it's been forever. Um, anywho, I used to do these um, a lot before when I did my makeup more often. So I wanted to start doing it again. Um, I apologize for the lighting. The lighting in Panda's room sucks. <laughs> um, but I wanted to start doing faces of the day again. Um, face of the day, F-O-T-D, was whatever you want to call it. Because I usually just post them up on my blog. And I know you guys have wanted more videos. So um, I'm going to start doing more of these. Because um, every day, you know, obviously, I work for where I work. Um, if you guys don't know yet, it's pretty obvious. Uh, watch my last video. It will imply where I work. I can't outright tell you. Okay, but it's pretty obvious. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anywho, uh, I just wanted to do a face of the day. So, I'm sorry for the gloomy lighting, but I hope you guys can get an idea of what I'm really wearing. So, I do my brows a little bit differently these days um it's pretty much the same thing that i used to do where i you know use the maybelline to find a brow and then um i use a brow powder um to basically fill it in um i've changed my shape a bit it's a lot more defined so i'll show you guys how i do that now because my brows have to be on point for work because we have a brow bar so all of us our brows have to be like right they gotta be situated um <laughs> So, yeah, uh, my brows are done slightly more different. I apologize for the lighting because it, it looks like my brows are uneven, but they're not. And I'm like, there's no way that I can turn into the light to, like, make it look even. It's driving me nuts. Um, but anywho, um, I'm not wearing anything on my lids. It kind of looks like it. I don't know why. I think it's just the way that I shade my brows now because instead of... I don't use concealer. I've ne I never have. I only do it, like, when I really feel like I need to to find my brows a lot better but I use the Benefit Highbrow pencil to highlight it and it really gives a much more defined appearance it's kind of very similar to Anastasia's matte brow highlighter but I like the highbrow better I have both but I like the Benefit one better um, consistency wise and then so there's nothing on my lids um, for my black eyeliner it's just my favorite 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 Clinique um, brush on cream liner in true black and then underneath, um, I don't know if you guys can tell, there's like a little bit of flex of glitter. So I'm using um, my favorite two liner from Milani, which is the Milani Liquify and Aqua. You guys hear me talk about that like all the time, I'm sure, especially on my blog, sorry. I'm trying to move so that you guys like get better lighting with me. Um, okay, yeah, so I have that and then I have the glitter on top is basically um, the NYX... Uh, glitter liquid liner thing pen whatever it's called um in lavender which is weird because it's not really lavender um it's more like a blue violet with like teal and purple and green glitter so i like wearing it on top of like either purple liner teal liner or blue liner because it re it looks really pretty it gives like this really pretty iridescence so i like that a lot and i extended it um with my wing i usually don't do that but i just felt like it today because i'm not really wearing you know too much makeup um for my face i'm using um benefits you rebel tinted moisturizer not my favorite i do like it but it's not my favorite um, I still prefer my Sonia Kashuk, and I still prefer the Laura Mercier, or even the MAC one. The MAC one's still not my favorite either. It's still, like, kind of bottom of the barrel for me a little bit, but I, my favorite's still Sonia Kashuk, and next best is Laura Mercier. I do love the Benefit You Rebel. It works for a lot of my clients and a lot of customers that have come in to try it, but for some reason, it doesn't work very well with my skin. I don't know what it is. Um... But I do like that it still, <clears throat> excuse me, that it still gives me a good amount of coverage. So I still like that. Um, but I just like my Sonia Kashuk one better. I don't know. Um, and then on my cheeks, I don't know how much of this you can see because in person it's like really a lot more vibrant. There's like a, a window shining at me and it's like washing me out a little bit. Um, but on my cheeks, I have my Laura Geller Blush and Brighten in Honey Dipped. Um, I'm gonna do a review on that or just probably feature it in my favorites because I adore that right now It's like my favorite Mineralized face blush powder thing. I don't know what you want to call it. But it's like a baked It's like a baked face powder blush bronzer thing. Um, it came in my birch box And I was extremely excited about it because I love it and luckily the store that I work at carries that brand So I was like, ooh, so if it ran out I have somewhere to buy it because I had no idea where to buy that thing I was like, where the fuck am I supposed to find that? Um, anyways so, I'm wearing that, and then I'm wearing um, Benefits Bella Bomba on my cheeks. 
Um, I just did a light flush of it. I don't like it to be super intense. A lot of people underestimate Bella Bomba and think that it comes on like too pinky, but it really doesn't. You just got to know how to put it on or you know what brush to use. Um, and then for my lips, I'm going to book it up like this. I'm wearing... Well, my Carmex underneath, that's a must. And then, oh, for the lipstick, I'm wearing Benefits Mod Squad. And then for the lip gloss, I'm wearing Benefits um, Kiss You. Yes. Those two shades are like my one of my favorites right now. It'll be featured in my favorites. It's going to be featured on my blog soon. I posted a Tumblr picture of it a while back. I adore the lip combination. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Every time I wear it at the store, like, people ask me, like, oh, what are you wearing on your lips? And I can't wait to, like, put it on them. But anyways, um, yeah, I'll be doing more of these because I feel like I don't get a chance to really do tutorials because I'm kind of in a rush in the morning. Like, I'm in a rush right now. I have to be at work in, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> um, but I usually, like, do my makeup almost every day now. I used to, like, take breaks in between. But I've just been, I don't know, I, I have to do my makeup for work, so. Um... Oh, and before I forget, I am wearing lashes. Um, these are the e.l.f. ones, um, the dramatic lash ones. They're not that dramatic to me. Um, they actually remind me a little bit of the Ardell Demi Wispies. You can see how long it is on that side. Um, they remind me a lot of the Demi Wispies, just a little bit thinner. So I like wearing them more often because they're, they're really, really light. And then I double stack them with the naturals. I'll show you guys how I do that, how I double stack lashes. Um, because I love, that's how I make it more dramatic, and that I love, like, the thicker look. Um, but since I'm going for a more simple look today, I didn't want to be all, like, crazy with the lashes. Um, but yeah, I adore these. I wear them all the time. I have, like, 6,000 pairs because they're only a dollar. However, um, one thing I've learned is that <laughs> when you're shopping for these damn lashes, you really, really have to pick them because a lot of them are misshaped. And a lot of them, like, are missing, like, lashes in between, like, little strands. Like, it's really frustrating. Anyway, okay, the lighting is acting up. It's going this way, like, upwards through the window. So, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! I miss you!